Are we going? Are we live? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Hello, Jesse. Um, my name is Damien. I'm a friend of Jill Zandy. She said that you were interested in aquaponics and that you might be applying to grad school soon and that you were interested in some different aquaponics projects. So first of all, first caveat, we are not experts. My wife is the one with the iPad right now doing the filming. Uh, this is Ukiah, the German Shepherd dog, leading us on the tour. Okay, or maybe not. So we have two aquaponic systems that we started just getting into to experiment. We've tried some other things um, that haven't worked nearly as well. So the first system we have over here um, is, and feel free to jump in as much as you would like. Um, if you look down inside, we have a number of different live bearing fish. I think we have mostly fantail guppies. And do we have any mollies? One molly, so maybe not much breeding going on with the mollies, but we have fantail guppies. And what happens is there's a really small pump, really low capacity pump, which pumps water up in through this tube. And then this is vermiculite. So it's basically an expanded micro product that is really good at holding onto the water. We have grown things like basil. We have grown, what else? Wheatgrass. Uh, wheatgrass was the latest crop that we did in here. Tomato plants have been started. Um, starting seedlings in this in this setup that did really well. So basically, you have the complete nitrogen cycle. The fish waste gets recycled up to the plants. The roots take that nitrogen out and return cleaner water back down to the fish. It just drips down, and this is just an automatic feeder. So we also have extra nitrogen, of course, coming in from feed. Um, and then we have, you know, lights here for the fish, lights up here for the plants. Uh, we don't have anything planted right now, so we're not really showing much there. Our next system is a turtle habitat. So I'd like to introduce you to Cassidy, which is this one? No, this one. This is Cassidy. No, no this one's Cassidy? Mm -hmm. I know, it's, it's awful to say, but they all look very similar. Um, so regular sliders, we have Cassidy, Preacher and Frisbee. Um, we inherited this setup from a teacher who had left uh, the Hill School, and he's out actually closer to you. He's working in San Diego. So we have a pretty large pump. Come on to the side and show our pump system there. So I think that's a 350 gallon per hour pump, which pumps up to three different bins that we have up top. And what we're trying to do in those top bins is grow pothos and, and other things. So if you take a look up here, this is basically where the system drains down. And we have siphon, uh, I forget what you call them, but there are siphon valves right here. And these will basically allow the water to fill up to a certain level and then drain down. So you get a natural cycling where you have uh, roots that are exposed to oxygen in the air and then they're wet and then they're exposed to air again. Um, in this tank here, we have some underwater plants. So these are the aquatic plants. So these are meant to be, uh, we started with some spider plants. They didn't do too well. The pothos is doing pretty well in these. So we have three different bins there. When the water cycles out of those bins, you can kind of see we have this return that basically makes a little stream bed habitat for the turtles. So then the turtles, this is the place where the turtles come up to sun themselves. And we don't have any fish in the turtle tank because the turtles will probably eat them. So this is, those are fake plants, unfortunately. Turtles are really good at eating things. So this is about a 150 gallon tank. Uh, we do have a heater in it. Um, what else? Any other salient details? Nope. Nope. We're good? Yep. Okay. So those are our two systems. Jesse, hope you're having fun out there. Um, let's see. Anything, anything else? We have other systems downstairs, but they're not really functional. No, we haven't set functional. anything up We're setting some other stuff. We're playing with other things downstairs, and we're checking out things like Window Farm, uh, which is probably a website you have seen. But anyway, uh, Jill said you might be interested in this, so we thought we'd give you a quick tour, and uh, that's about it. All right, take care, have fun.